going on everyone? You ever get tired of riding with a sore and achy butt? How many times have you been on a ride where an hour into it, your ass gets numb? Does your back ever hurt on a long ride? Don't want to spend the money on an eight or $900 seat? Well, stay tuned, I got you covered because I just got a product in that's gonna change your life. Davidson, you got to stop by smoking the city. It is legit barbecue. Don't forget to check out Brandon's YouTube channel. It's Brandon's Bikes. Like and follow it. All right, so last weekend, I took a four hour ride over to Ocean City for Ocean City Bike Fest. Total ride time for the entire day was eight hours, four hours each way. And I'm not going to lie to you, about an hour and a half into the ride over there, my ass was completely numb, sore, my back was hurting. And it's no secret to say that the stock Harley Davidson seat is just not that good. So I found a product online. I actually found it through the Law Abiding Biker website. I've done another video on them. Check out that video, Who Do I Follow? Right up there. In it, I talk about the Law Abiding Biker. Uh, but in the Law Abiding Biker, they actually have a shop where you can buy these products. And so I bought a butt buffer seat cushion. So let's check it out. All right, so the product arrived today. I was super excited because I actually have a trip tomorrow where I'm gonna ride down to Portsmouth, Virginia. It's about three hours ride down there. Um, I'm gonna get down there, I'm gonna ride around. Saturday, I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna ride around. And probably total on Saturday, I'll end up doing about five hours in the saddle. So I'm gonna really get a good chance to test this butt buffer cushion out. All right, so this is the product that I got. It's the butt buffer seat cushion. As you can see, I got it in the military version. So there's actually five different versions you can get this in. You can get it in the classic version, the pebble, sheepskin, super suede, or as you can see, I got this in the military version. They've got all of the branches of the military, regardless of which one you served in, they got you covered. All right, so I could tell as soon as I picked it up, it's got a, a pretty good weight to it. You can tell that it's a quality material. Um, the front of this feels like suede. Um, obviously, the Coast Guard patch is not suede, but the black portion feels like suede. This particular version is the large. They've got them in large, medium, and small. I'm riding a 2022 Streetlight Special with a stock Harley-Davidson seat, and this large pad seems to fit it pretty good. If you turn it around to the back, it's got almost like a, a non-skid type material that you might put in uh, in a cabinet and maybe in an RV or a boat to keep some products from sliding around. Uh, so it's designed that way to keep it from sliding around on your seat. So the inside of this is actually designed to come out. So if the outside gets dirty, it's easy to wash. It just opens up at the top and the product comes right out. This is the pad that it comes inside. Super flexible, super cushiony. But again, it's designed to come out so that you can clean the butt buffer. All right, so if you flip it around, you'll see that it's got these hooks on the back. Um, I'm assuming initially that they were supposed to just strap to the edge of the seat. They didn't fit that well on my stock seat. So I actually called Peter from Butt Buffer and he clued me in. So some seats, he said on sport bikes and maybe some other different models that these will clip to the edge of the actual seat. But it's also designed to on Velcro like this, wrap under your seat on both sides, and then these hooks would clip together just like that. But he assured me that with this non-skid backing, it's not gonna go anywhere. Now, if you get something that looks as good as this, you're gonna wanna show it off. However, you also run the risk of people trying to take your stuff from you. So Peter recommended to take it off your bike whenever you get to where you're going, and just put it in your saddlebag. I guess for me, it's just gonna depend on where I am. If I stop in a busy shopping area and I'm gonna be gone for a while, I'll probably put it in the bags. 
if I'm going to a bike fest and I want to show it off or if I'm hanging out with some friends and I want to show it off, obviously I'm going to leave it on my seat because who wouldn't want to show that off? I mean, look at it. That looks fantastic, right? So according to Butt Buffer, they claim that this is not a gel pad and that it will not leak. It will not freeze. It's easy to clean, hypoallergenic, and oil and water resistant. So let's check it out and see how it looks on the bike. All right, so this is what it looks like on the bike. Come up top, see it from up there. Come around the side. It really looks good. Again, I have a 2022 Street Glide Special. I have a stock seat and this is the size large. You can see that it hangs over a little bit, which is not a bad thing. It's not going to fly away on you. Uh, fits really well. You know, you can adjust it back a little bit if you want some more uh, cushion right here on the lumbar. Um, or you can slide it down a little bit, whatever you want. But I think this looks fantastic. What's up, two wheelers? All right, we're loaded up, headed down to Portsmouth, Virginia. I'm gonna give this butt buffer seat cushion a test this weekend, and I'll report back with a full review. All right, what's going on, two wheelers? Uh, put about 140 miles on the bike. It was about a three hour ride. And I'm happy to report that I am super satisfied with the butt buffer seat cushion. I highly recommend it, 10 out of 10. It doesn't cost a lot of money. Uh, luckily, I got this uh, seat cushion in before this ride, so it paid off. And um, again, I'm happy that I got it. Um, I would buy it again if I had to. So I'll put a link down in the description. Until next time, keep the rubber side down.